Let's check out how to make vector stencil here in Photoshop and Illustrator. All right, so I'm going to go with the subject as a reference and I'm going to remove the background. Let's go to taskbar and click on remove background. And I'm also going to add the white background. So let's go to the adjustment layers, select solid color. I'm going to go with a white, click OK and drag the solid layer under the model layer. Let's go and select the top layer. Let's go to the adjustments and I'm going to select the threshold. And with the threshold, you can adjust the contrast. So I'm going to open it up all the way. So it's going to make the portrait light, something like this. Now let's go back to the adjustments. Let's select the curves and let's go and drag and drop the layer with the curves under the threshold. And here, what I got to do is adjust the curves and increase the contrast all the way up. So basically we're going to go back how it was before. And let's go to the layer with the curves and make sure to select the mask. And I'm going to go and select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black and I'm going to go to the opacity and decrease it all the way down. For example, I'm going to go with like 15 and here I'm going to go to the darker areas and remove the darker spots. So it's going to make it lighter. So this way you're going to target specific areas only. You're going to need to click a couple of times to remove it completely because we decrease the opacity. So it's going to look something like this. I'm also going to remove the neck and the body. So I'm going to select the mask from the layer with the model. And with the brush, I can increase the strength all the way up to 100 and remove the neck. From here, let's save it as a JPEG and let's go and copy paste it into Illustrator. Here first, we're going to need to trace it. So let's go to the image trace at the properties, click on it. And I'm going to go and select the default. And here I'm going to go to the settings at the image trace. And I'm going to click on ignore color, make sure to check it and click on expand. All right, so we're going to need to simplify and smoothen this. And I'm going to go to the object, let's go to path and let's select simplify. Here we got this handle and all you need to do is just decrease it. So this is going to remove a couple of paths. So I'm going to try it out with this. And now I'm going to go back to the object path again. And this time I'm going to go and select the smooth. Now this option is going to be available only in the newer illustrators. So I'm going to select it. And here we got another handle and I'm going to increase it. And this is going to smooth out the whole composition, removing all the details. So now you can see the lines look really clean. I also need to customize this area here because it looks kind of messed up. So I'm going to select it and let's go and select the pencil tool here. And I'm going to double click on the pencil tool and I'm going to go with these options with the fidelity at accurate. Click OK. And here all you need to do is just go here as some of these paths and draw wherever you like. And I'm just going to pull it like this and I'm going to end it somewhere here. So as you can see now it's going to remake this area. So you're going to need to clean up also the rest as well. Maybe remove some of these dots in here. I'm going to select it with the direct selection tool and press on delete, delete again. And pretty much this is how I make a simplified vector stencil here in Photoshop and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.